all too hard um, and that, that I guess the losers will be young people um, and this, this idea of a lost generation of that, that haven't had those opportunities. If we stay the same way as we have been, coupled with the, um, the current economic impact, it's going to be pretty grim. I think part of our role is to, to help work with them to, to navigate a, a, a way through. I really think they need to be part of any sort of, any sort of roadmap out. Um, so we're really big on, um, I guess, giving ownership and giving, uh, I guess, like, like that co-designed um, approach that for there to be um, buy-in, for there to be a degree of hope, uh, I think they need to be involved in the, in, in the I guess, the design and the, the of that moving out. Now, that will vary in terms of how we involve and how we enable young people to, to be to be involved. Um, there'll be some stuff that that will will be more enabled for them 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 to be involved, and some stuff maybe not. So, um, but I think that they need their voices need to be heard in terms of what they're looking for in terms of um, how they can be um, involved in. I guess their futures or what, what they need for their futures as well. I feel like at the moment, probably the U12s are the ones most most affected, I guess, because then everyone else will have recovery time. If you're a U10 and, and things aren't going how you thought they should, you at least have the reassurance that you've got another two years of school to work it out. And presumably over the next two years, society will work out what happened and, and how we fix some of these problems. But I feel like perhaps, and, and the year 11s are probably nervous, but at the same time, they'd be hoping that next year, maybe some form of normal returns, whatever that is. For me to kind of reflect on what we're doing as an organisation as well. And I think, um, you know, what it's, you know, what it's taught me, I suppose, is, um, you know, what's, what's at the core of what our organization's trying to do when we kind of strip away some of the things that are nice to have what are the you know the must-haves that we've kind of got there um you know not to say that we kind of start stripping away lots of things that we do because uh, you know i think it's good to have a um a variety of services and activities on offer but you know i think it's re it's forced me to kind of reflect upon what's really important from a local government youth service and I think it's a good opportunity for, for others to do it, to do the same sort of thing and to kind of look into the future and go, okay, maybe we do need to put some more recent, you know, I've kind of harped on about, you know, young people's voices and advocacy and that. We're all going to have to sort of reimagine what the next step might be.